Hey everybody! Today, Rado runs through Castles of Burgundy the Card Game, or Die Bergen von Bergen Das Kartenspiel. I say that because, as of right now, this game is only available in German, but I do believe there will ultimately be an English version that is produced, that is shipped around the world. In the meantime, you can actually download the rules in English, because the game is completely language independent. Although, before I get going on the run through, I just got to give a warning, very, very important warning. To anybody who actually uses the English rules you can download right now, there is a major, major translation error that radically changes the game. I, mean, I, I can't remember the last time I saw such a really huge goof on translation. Now, don't worry, I'll be playing it correctly today, although I did have to double check the original German rules just to make sure that it was a translation error, and it was. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to play the game today as a two-player game. And over here, I'm player one. This is my little principality in the Burgundy region. I've got the place where I can actually build fields and castles and towns and shipping lanes and stuff like that. Over here is where I can keep up to three projects ready and waiting to go to to actually install in my little kingdom. And over here is my storage, where at the beginning of the game I randomly got one livestock, a chicken, one goods, uh, a dark goods, which is a 5-6 goods, one silver, and I will be the first player. And I've, if I still have this at the end of the game, this card is actually worth one point. Jen, meanwhile, over here, here's her principality. She's got a place to build. She's got a place to store her projects and then her actual storage. She also got randomly a chicken. She got a light good, a one two good, a silver. And because Jen is not the first player, she also gets a worker, a single worker. And I think players three and four get more workers or something like that. But anyway, the game is now set up, ready to go. And let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing you do every round, and this game takes place over five rounds. Here's we're in round A, and then we'll go to B, C, D, and E. First thing we do in a round is we reveal all the building opportunities there are. So, in a two player game, there are going to be seven. With more players, I think it's 10 and then 13, if I recall correctly. But anyway, in a two player game, it's seven. So, I'm going to put seven cards out here. The first six of them just basically effectively get assigned randomly from one to six into these six slots. And now the seventh one I'm going to draw, I look at the die on it. It's a five, so it comes over here into the five space. If I were playing with more players, you know, there would be more cards put out and whatnot. But this is what's available. Hey, there's a castle and a castle and a castle. There's a mine and uh, there's another mine. There's a ship. So there's a bunch of stuff we can build. And also at the beginning of the round, each player gets six. Uh, a hand of six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Da, da, da. And now we are ready to begin the Bergen von Bergen Das Kartenspiel. All right. So. Now then, um, the, this deck of cards we get represents the two dice that we would get to roll every round if we were playing the traditional Castles of Burgundy. Because if you remember, if you've seen my run-through for that, every round you roll two dice, those two values determine what it is you're capable of doing in a given round. In this game, though, we instead draw two cards. So I've got a three and a six. So it's like I just rolled a three and a six. And Jen, she rolled a four. And a two. Now, when you're when you're doing this to find out what dice you've got, you completely ignore the rest of the card. So the only thing that matters on this card is the number four and the number two. So we've rolled our starting dice, we're ready to go. I am the first player, and so what that means I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take either this three or this six and use it to accomplish one of six potential actions. What are the actions? Well, I can grab one of these potential uh, building types or one of, these, uh, one of these plans, and put it in my planning area. So like if I use this six, I could grab this castle. If I use this three, I could grab this castle. So either way, I can grab a castle. Now alternatively, if I already have something in my planning area, I can use a die to move it from the planning area to actually get it built in my region. And then that's when I get the bonus that's associated with that card. And I mean, those are really the two main things you're going to be doing with your dice. Getting stuff and putting in your planning area, and you can see you can have no more than three at a time, or moving stuff from your planning area out here to actually make these buildings active. But there's other stuff you can do with it as well. You can give up a a card to basically get more silver, to get more workers, and uh, and a few other things here and there that I'll demonstrate as we go, like uh, like shipping goods. If this six, instead of using it to grab this castle, I could use this six to ship this good because a five or a six will let me ship this good. But anyway, 
We'll worry about that kind of stuff as we go, but for now, let's actually start grabbing some stuff. I would like to get a castle, in all honesty. So I think I will just go on ahead and take this six to grab this castle. And now I am, I've got it in my planning area, and uh, that was my turn. Now, Jen's turn, she's going to take her four or her two, and she's going to do an action with that. Now, this is already the first big change from Burgundy, the, you know, the original game, because in the original game, you rolled your two dice, and you used both of them before the next player went. But in the castle, in the card game, players take turns using them one at a time. So, Jen can use her four to get this castle, or she can use her two to get this mine. Now, a castle, if you actually get a castle installed in your region, you get one free bonus action, and that bonus action can be considered to have any die value you want. So that's a very powerful thing. If you instead install a mine, you get a one-time inflection of cash, you get two silver out of that mine. So it may sound like, well, an extra action is really awesome. Two silver, that's kind of nice, but an extra action is really cool too. But here's the thing. What we're actually trying to do is not just get one card installed in our region, we are trying to get a set of three. If I can get three mines installed in my region, I will score them and get a total of four points. On the flip side, if I install three castles, I'll only get two points. So, while I will have gotten three bonus actions, I'll only get two points. So, that's a big trade-off of do you want points or do you want, um, you know, different, more... You know, generally, the better the power, the, the, the fewer the points when you actually get a triple of them. So, Anyway, what was it that Jen did? All right, so she's either going to take a castle herself or she's going to take a mine. You know what? Here's the thing. I think Jen, she's going to spend her four and get a castle as well because what she doesn't want to see happen is she doesn't want me to pick up all three of these castles that came out right at the beginning because then um, I'd be able to chase after a triple castle and I'd be the first to score a triple. And we're in a race to score these triples, these three of a kinds, if at all possible. So Jen didn't want to just give that to me on a silver platter. So, now, um, before we go again, and this is another big change from Burgundy, the card game, uh, we aren't just limited to, I, I don't necessarily have to use my three. Jen doesn't have to use her two, because after both play, all players have taken their first round of actions, we draw another card. So once again, we get to, um, two cards to choose from. I've got a three and I've got a four. Jen's got a two and she's got a two. And now, what am I going to do with my three or my four? Now, see, now I wish I had a six because I'd like to get this castle installed so I can get a bonus action. But unfortunately, I didn't draw a six or roll a six, as it were. Uh, so what do I want to do? Well, a three or a four. Well, you know what? There's this other castle here. I think I'm going to go ahead and snag it. While the snagging is good, I'll spend my three to get this second castle. Now I've got two cards in my planning area. I've only got room for one more. And so now it's Jen's turn. She's got a two and a two. Um, so, let's see, what is Jen gonna do? I think she could go on ahead and use this two to claim this mine and get that into planning. But instead, what Jen's gonna do, because she was a second player, she started with a worker card. These cards let you change the value of a die you're using. So instead of Jen using this two, she could change that to a one or a three. Jen is gonna play this two, but she is gonna modify it using this worker to turn it into a three. And the worker comes back over here to supply. And that means Jen just played a three, which means well, there's nothing in the three slot to claim, but instead, Jen is going to spend that three to install her castle. Jen has actually built the first card in the game. And so, Jen gets a bonus, which in the case of a castle is one free action. Jen gets to do another action right now, and she could treat it as any value die she wants. So she could pretend she has a one, two, three, four, five, or six. And so I think. You know what, since Jen's got this two to maybe grab this mine, Jen's going to treat this bonus action she's got as a five. She's going to grab this mine and put it in her planning stage because now she could maybe be chasing after getting three of a kind on mines if she can grab that other mine. So that was Jen's action. She used a worker to change her value, uh, to get a thing installed. And now, once she gets two more castles in Scald, she'll score that triple castle and get two points. Plus, the first player to get three of a kind castles also gets this castle bonus card, which is worth another point. So, 
we are and plus whenever you do a triple in addition to if you're the first one to do it you get a bonus for it every time you do a triple you get your choice of a big bonus and in the first round of the game that bonus can be three victory points that's what this card is two more livestock two more goods or three workers or three silver so you want to get these three of a kinds as fast as possible because the interesting thing is in the first round the reward is the biggest in the second round the reward gets smaller and it gets worse you know it gets lower and lower for every round over the course of the game till by the time you get to the last round getting a three of a kind in the last round is only worth one silver or one worker so you want to get these three of kinds as fast as possible all right so that was jen's turn now we're going to reveal another card and so I pulled a five, and Jen pulled a, a five. We both pulled fives. And so it's my turn again because I am still the first player. And let's see here. What is she gonna? Oh, what am I gonna do? I've got four and a five. So there's nothing over here in the four. There is this five. Uh, so I could grab this, and then my planning area would be completely full. There'd be nothing else I can I can um, store. I'd have to start getting stuff made. Um, let's see. And unfortunately, I have a four and a five. To install these castles, I need a three or a six. I don't have a three or a six. And I don't have a worker like Jen did to be able to, um, to, to what do you call it, to get, uh, to, to convert it to install one of my castles. Now, another thing I can do is with this five, I could go on ahead and ship this good, which would get me a victory point. It'd be worth a victory point, And it would get me a silver. And so I'd have two silver. Once I have three silver, I can turn these three silver in to get a bonus action. The same way Jen just got a bonus action off her castle, I could get a bonus action by trying to collect silver. So I could ship this good right now, but I don't know if I necessarily want to ship it because um, you know, to do it, if I had, say, you know, more of this type of good, and then I played a five, I'd get to ship two goods with one action, which is obviously much more efficient than only shipping a single good with one action. So I don't think it makes much sense to ship a single good right now. So this five could either get me this, um, you know, this uh, wagon train, which later on, once I get it installed, will give me two more workers, or I could use this four or this five to instead get some worker dice so that I can start manipulating dice. I, I can get, if I use it for that, I can get up to two, right? I can, I can refill myself up to two. Since I have no workers, if I did that right now, I'd get two workers. If I had one worker, I'd only get one. If I had two or more, I wouldn't do the action because I'd get no bonuses. Now, alternatively, I can use one of these, either of these, to get another silver. Because remember, once I've got three silver, I, get, I can turn that in for a bonus action whenever I want. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I am... <clears throat> Although, here's another thing as well. I'm worried about Jen snagging that mine so that she has two mines, which means she's on her way to getting a three of a kind. Let's see here. Oops, and by the way, I put the... Uh, Jen has not installed the mine. This mine is over here in her planning area. Sorry. Not her actual... She, you know, she's only built a castle so far. She hasn't built that mine. Let's see here. I will... I think I'm just going to go ahead and get some workers. I'll dump this four. And I could dump anything. The number doesn't matter. Uh, basically, I'm using that to get workers. And since I have no workers, I refill up to two. So now I've got two workers in my storage, along with one good, one chicken. And the livestock, by the way, is a set collection thing. The more unique livestock you have at the end of the game, the more points you get. So that's what I done there. All right. And so Jen, she's going to go. And what is she going to do? She's got a two and a five. And yep, no, no choice about it. She's going to play that two to snag this other mine. So now Jen's got two mines on her mind. And so now we re each reveal another card. I have pulled a one. Jen pulled a three. Okay, so I unfortunately did not get a three or a, um, a six so that I could install my castle. But now that I've got those workers, I think I'm going to go on ahead and spend this five use this five die, but I'm going to convert it from a five into a six using a worker so that I can get my castle installed. Yay! And my bonus is I get to do one free action right now. And what do I want that action to be? Hmm. I think my bonus action will be, I'll pretend I just pulled a three and my bonus action will be use that three to get another castle. Hooray! And another ca my second castle means I get another bonus, so I can do another action right now. And again, it could be any number I want it to be. I think I'll pretend it's the number one. And with that number one, I'll go on ahead and grab this and put it into my planning area. Now, 
that was my core action. And look at this. My, I've got a 1, so next turn I'll be able to install this by spending this. So now it's Jen's turn. She's got 3 and a 5. There is only one more building out here to grab. If Jen wants to grab it, she should maybe grab a click. But that means she'd have to use her 5. But she could instead use this 5 to install this mine, which would give her 2 silver. Then she'd have 3 silver, and she could get a bonus turn. Oh, what to do, what to do. Hmm. Well, Jen can see I don't have a 3, so she's not particularly worried about me snapping this up. She um, you know, could potentially grab it uh, because she doesn't know what her last card is going to be. Her last card might be something that would let her grab that as well. But you know what? So could mine. My last card that's yet to be revealed could be that as well. So does Jen... <sighs> you know what? I think Jen's going to grab that 5 while she can. She's just going to spend the 5 and get this. And now her planning section is full. And there are literally no more cards we can grab. Okay. So now we're going to reveal our last card of the rounds. I pulled a 2, so I've got a 1 and a 2 for my last two actions. Jen's got a 2 and a 3 for her last two actions. And now what am I going to do with this 1 and 2? Well, I think I'm going to play this 1 so that I can get this boat installed. Um, yeah. So, play the 1, get this boat, and the benefit of getting the boat is I get to pull another good and put it into my storage. Remember how, hey, there's a 5, 6 here? I'm just going to go on ahead and pull that, and boom. Now, later on, when I spend a 5 or a 6, I'll be able to ship two goods instead of one. All right, so that was that, and now my last action is going to have to be a 2. Jen, she's got a 3 and a 2, and um, she'll go on ahead and spend this 3 to get this wagon train she just got installed, or this camp, I think, this encampment. And she spends three to get it, and her reward, she gets two more workers. Bippity bop. So that will that means her last card, this could be a two or a three or a four or a one or a six, because you can also, if you spend two, you can turn this into a one and then wrap around and turn it into a six. So Jen just got some worker flexibility. Here is the last action of this round, folks. It's a two. There's nothing for me to grab, there's nothing for me to build. So and this 2 won't let me ship these goods, because I need a 5 or a 6. So I think for this 2, I will use it to... Uh, well, I could get one worker, because if you refill workers, you just refill up to 2. So that's not great. I think I'll use that 2 just to get my second silver. So now I've got 2 silver in my storage. All right. And Jen, her last is also a 2. Hmm. So Jen, I think those two workers she got, she'll just spend, she'll spend both of them to turn this into a one or a six rather. So she spent these two workers. It's a bit expensive, but uh, so that turned it into a six, which lets her install this mine. So she's actually built a mine. Her reward is two silver, one two. And now, whenever you've got three or more silver, any time on your turn, either before or after or even during an action, you can spend three silver to get a bonus action. So if Jen wanted, she could get a bonus action right now, but I'm not really that sure if she's that dying to do it, because, I mean, there's nothing else to grab. The way it works is, when you do a bonus action, you draw the top three cards from the draw pile, you pick one of them, and that card can either be one that you get installed into your projects, or it can be the number. So, I mean, Jen could take her action, draw three cards. If she draws a five, then that means, hey, she'll get her second mine installed, and she'll make two more bucks. So that whole action, would, that bonus action would only cost her one. But you know what? I think there's no reason to rush on this right now. She's going to wait to see what comes out in the second round, because maybe she'll want to grab something really, really badly, and she'll want that bonus action then. So, Jen, even though she, ha she, she basically traded two workers for um, two silver by getting this mine built, I see she's going to stop right there. Uh, and we're done. We have finished the first round of the game. Now, uh, nobody shipped any goods. When you ship goods, that's when the player uh, marker changes hands. So, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to start the second round now, which means a whole bunch of new cards come out. Same as before. And again, we don't really care what the die number is. We're just putting these into position. Because these will be new additions we can make. And now for the seventh one, it is a two, so it comes over here. And now, once again, each of us get a handful of six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. And we are ready to start our next round. Me, I rolled a one and a six, and Jen, she rolled a four and a five. And, oh, 
Oh, and unfortunately, nobody got any triples, so we both missed out on the chance to get these best rewards. This is gone now, and now going into round B, the rewards get a little bit weaker. Uh, and let's see, what came out? I didn't even look at that. Unfortunately, no castles came out, so uh, I'm not going to really have a good chance of getting a triple castle. Although, if I get another silver and then draw three, I might draw the castle I need to get that triple. And in the meantime, no mines came out. Jen needs a third mine, so she could get three of a kind mine. Um, and only one yellow came out, so it doesn't look like either of us are getting a chance to do a triple, although three livestock came out. If somebody can grab all three of these livestock and get them installed, they can get the first triple of the game that way. But, uh, oh, although, wait a minute, hold on, a cloister came out. Now these are very cool because they have no special power they give because when you install them in your kingdom, it's a wild card. If I get this cloister and get it installed, it counts as my third castle so that I will be able to, to score castles and get a big bonus and be the first to score castles, etc. etc. So this cloister looks pretty hot and tasty. Here's my problem though. It's in the two slot. I don't have a two. I do have a one though, so I could spend my last worker to turn this one into a two so I could get that cloister and then later on get it installed. Is that what I'm going to do? Maybe. If you'd like to find out, you can hit the little eye up in the top right corner of the screen to go to the extended playthrough or alternatively, you can go to Final Thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.